Season 5 of 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days has got viewers hooked with its exciting storylines and fresh faces since its premiere in December 2021. Gino Palazzolo, one of the most talked about cast members from the show's latest installment, is also touted as the season's breakout star. But there's a lot fans don't know about him yet. This is his untold truth. Like most 90 Day Fiancé love stories, Gino's romance with Jasmine Pineda, who is 17 years younger than him, started via an international dating app. The couple, with their creepy antics and questionable motives, has certainly set tongues wagging from the very first episode, with many viewers already noticing numerous red flags between the duo. During their long-distance relationship, Gino spent a substantial amount of money on his foreign girlfriend's numerous cosmetic procedures and admitted to footing the bill for her dental work, lip fillers, microblading eyebrows, braces, hair extensions, and plasma facials. Fans might be curious to know how he managed to fund his girlfriend's extravagant lifestyle. Well, the TLC personality, who graduated from Oakland University with a degree in mechanical engineering, made a comfortable living as an engineering program manager at Ford Motor Company, where he worked for a year starting from May 2019. His position has a base salary of $100,000, plus a yearly cash bonus of $10,000. But unfortunately, he was laid off from his job during the COVID-19 pandemic. Gino, who began his professional career back in 1993, revealed that he worked in several companies since and has been smart with his savings over the years. But what does he do for a living today? He is currently employed as a product development engineer at Faricia, a French global automotive supplier. According to his LinkedIn information, he has only been with the company since June 2021. When he started filming for the TLC show, he probably had no idea that he would get more recognition from his personal life rather than his real profession. This isn't the first time the Michigan native dated a foreign girl. In fact, the TLC star was married to his first wife, Denise, who hails from Brazil, for seven years before being with Jasmine. He met his ex-wife while he was working as an engineer for six months in South America. We knew we were in love and wanted to be together, he recalled during his debut episode. He brought Denise to the United States on a K-1 visa, which is his plan for Jasmine as well. Gino confessed that going through the separation was difficult, and he lost all hope about finding the right person to start a family with after his divorce. In early 2020, he started looking for love internationally after not having much luck locally. That's how he met his 34-year-old Panamanian girlfriend. Since his debut on the show, the 90 Day Fiancé alum has never appeared in front of the cameras without his hat, which has become his signature look. I started wearing a hat. I don't know how many years ago because I have lost my hair over time. The reality star explained to producers after refusing to remove his ball cap during an interview segment. When I don't have a hat on, I feel like I'm naked or something, he further stated. He was so insecure about his bald look that despite sending naked videos to Jasmine, he never allowed her to see his bare scalp before meeting in person. Fans who are eager to see their favorite star without a cap, it's unlikely to happen anytime soon. But Gino shared numerous throwback photos of his Instagram, where instead of a hairless head and awkward cap, he can be seen flaunting a lush and dark curly mop, which unfortunately has diminished over time. Currently, the 51-year-old has over 6,000 Instagram followers, but the number is sure to skyrocket as he gains more popularity, thanks to his stint on the 90 Day franchise. His Instagram is inundated with photos and videos of Jasmine, where she can be seen showing off her singing and dancing skills. In one of his most recent posts, he shared photos of his first date with the Latino beauty, writing, Throwback to our first time meeting in Panama City, Panama. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.